Hi, welcome to Eyeball Aeronautics. What I'm trying to show you here today is my wing core cutting rig. What it is, is a bow at the bottom, some templates, a pivot point, a couple of locking screws, a two foot extension, the outside truck, the inside pivot support, an eight foot extension, and a piece of angle iron. Those pieces are what consist of this wing core cutting rig and it is a nice setup because it helps you consistently cut perfect wing cores. So later in the video I'll show it in action but here I want to try and show a little bit of what it's made of. I'll try and quickly go over the parts. Here are the templates. They're made from aluminum with a paper template pasted on and it's sawed out on a bandsaw and the edge is sanded smooth. Next is a one inch square tubing with a half inch square nut welded into the end and some all thread threaded into the nut. That makes up the swing arm. Next to that you'll see just a one inch piece of angle iron. That's used to connect the eight foot swing arm to the two foot extension if I should happen to need a ten foot swing arm. Next to that are a couple of lock nuts and the pivot base. That just simply bolts to the bench to anchor it. And then taking a look at the bow, you can see it's one inch angle iron, has a handle and a lock bolt on it. It has aluminum tension arms that um, allow the current to be carried up to the bowstring. The bowstring, I simply use uh, welding wire. And then so that it doesn't short circuit in those end pieces, there's a nylon insert to insulate the aluminum from the steel. Otherwise, it's basically your same bow that you would use. It's just made to attach to the swing arm. And that's it. All right, so here I'm trying to show the entire thing set up. And first off, we'll start with the power supply, which get it in focus. This is a uh, old battery charger I got at a thrift store. And I just cut the uh, wires off and put a couple of plugs on it to be my power supply. And then on the side I have a, a router speed controller uh, which is basically just a heavy duty dimmer switch um, that I use to uh, adjust the current. Then over here you'll see the base which I have bolted to the bench and a pivot. I'm having trouble with focus. And then um, just the lock screw and the um, in this case I'm using an eight foot long square uh, bar I don't need any longer than that so I'm not using the two foot extension that I showed you earlier and then here's the bow itself it's just clamped on in the center there if you can see that uh, is an aluminum rod there's a nylon bushing in there to insulate it and then the wire itself is just uh, welding wire uh, and that's the bow over here that's the truck that bolts on on the end and you can see the handle and the lock nut so that's basically everything set up you can see the wing blank which is right there some weights to hold it down when I go to cut and that's pretty much everything set to go ready for uh, cutting so I'm going to try and show you now how to adjust it. So the bow itself needs to slide down the bar until it's the proper, so it's set to cut the proper taper. The closer to the pivot and the greater the taper will be and the closer to the truck on the end, the less the taper will be. So what I'm trying to do here is just set it up to where um, it's the right distance from the the pivot end so that you end up with the taper that you want. So as I slide it closer to the pivot end, as you can see there, it actually will make the, the taper larger. And that's right about where I want it. So then what I'm going to do is just take a Sharpie and I mark right on the bench where the um, part should set. And that way I can um, you know, it's repeatable. I can come back and cut the other wing 
and I'll have the same taper. So then what I have to do is mount the templates on the ends of the um, blank. So in this case, this is a flat bottom wing, so the template is a little different than the one I showed you in, in the beginning of the video. And the video is not very good here. You can't really see what I'm doing. I'm sorry about that. But what I'm doing is just marking uh, a line on the bottom of the, what will be the bottom of the um, template. So I just use a square. I mark on both ends uh, a straight line across, and that's where the bottom of my wing will uh, will actually be cut. So here in a second, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so maybe you can see the line that I drew on there, and that's just to line the bottom of the in this case it's a flat bottom wing so I just line the bottom of the wing up with the line and um, I wish I'd have had the video not quite as zoomed in then all I do is push in uh, a nail through the hole that I've drilled in the in the template and two nails secure it to the to the wing blank just kinda Press them in snug, and then you can kind of see that it's right on that line. In this case, it's a flat bottom wing, so I just want the line for the bottom of the wing. So, then once one side's on, then I line the other side on. And don't know if it's clear in the video or not, but there's the template comes right down to a point where. Uh, I want the wing to have about an eighth of an inch uh, on the trailing edge, so that gives me a little bit of aluminum sticking out to start my wire. And then um, by having the, the line at the same height on both sides, that gives me a nice flat bottom wing. If you wanted to put um, washout in the wing, the, you could put the line on the on the uh, wing tip at you know three degrees or five degrees whatever you want your washout to be and um, then it would automatically put the washout in in the in the wing core but in this case I, I I'm not doing any washout um, I might put some uh, dihedral or polyhedral on the wing tips uh, but that's something I'll decide later down the road so I weighed it down with plenty of uh, of weight to keep it nice and flat and also keep it in place. Make sure that um, my taper is still exactly how I want it and it looks good here. So then it's just a matter of uh, firing up the uh, power supply, let the wire get hot. And then what I want to do is I have the wire cutting pretty darn hot because I want it to cut fast because the the uh, the farther away from the uh, pivot it is the faster it has to cut and so um, I want it to be able to cut smoothly without you know hanging up or, or any issues so once it's hot let's go ahead and feed it through and you can see I added a picture and picture so you can kind of see um, in this fisheye view, the uh, the other end, and now I'm just feeding it through. As you can see, um, it um, just follows the template. The key is is to try to uh, move it, you know, smoothly as possible without starting and stopping. Um, the better you do with that, the less lines there will be in the top of the wing and then once it comes to the end you just got to kind of slow down a little bit let the wire catch up and then boom there there it is that's um uh, half the wing core is cut there what i like to do is wipe it off between cuts while the wire is still hot and that will get any uh, foam residue off the wire and shut the heat down and then just remove the weights and you'll see what the top half of the wing looks like here and there it is
Well, this looks pretty good. There's a couple little lines in it, but they're no big deal. Little sandpaper and just lightly dust them right off. It doesn't take anything to take those lines out. So then I flip it over and line it up to the lines that uh, I have marked previously. And when I cut, I'll cut back in the opposite direction. You just make sure that the uh, make sure that it's still um, the right taper because you don't want the inboard or outboard uh, tip to come out before the other, or you know, won't make a perfect uh, core. So that looks good there. So now I'm just going to weight it back down. And they come out really straight, it's, uh, even though it looks like it wants to bow. Once you cut both sides, there's, there's really no bow of, or in the wing cores at all. So, wipe it off one more time. It's nice and hot. One of the things I tend to do is leave junk on the tabletop and then gets in my way and that ruins the wing core so I have to be sure not to do that. Um, as you can kind of see here it's just uh, feeding back in the other direction. And, you know again just try to feed it smoothly try to stay at a nice consistent pace. should finish the wing core right there and that's all there is to it it's it's a quick setup time it only takes about 15 minutes at the moment to set up the whole machine and as I take the weight off you'll see the wing core is straight the the waist kind of curls up but the wing core there they come out really nice and straight there's no bow in them at all and that's that's how the wing core cutting machine works. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Again, I always try to wipe that off because otherwise, if you let it cool, it's, it's on there, stuck on there for good. So, there we have it. One half of a wing right there. Thanks for watching Eyeball Aeronautics. I hope this was helpful and maybe informative, and maybe somebody out there will try to make one themselves.